In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we'd like to continue our look in the second part of a series to show you how to do some very careful facial editing using the new tools that are available as of April 2023. There are lots to look at, so let's begin. We're going to click on Organize and get into our main editing screen. We click on the Create button at the very top and then click on the Edit button at the upper right corner and choose Guided. That takes us to the People Beautifier. We click on that subcategory, go to Face Tools, and then we click on the Face Shaper, which gives us the tools that we now have. We covered some of these in the first lesson. Uh, we are going to deal right now not with the top ones, but with the four tabs we didn't touch prior. Uh, we're going to turn on the feature points of the face, and I'm going to enlarge what you see on the screen. And you notice that some of the feature points aren't where I want them, so I can click on them individually. I can't add or delete, but I can get them exact where I want them before it modifies the face. So this looks pretty good. We'll take that, and there we'll just narrow the width a bit. And you can see that we can narrow or widen as we did in the other tutorial. We're going to focus on the other four tabs in this tutorial. Let's focus on eyebrows. And again, I like to zoom in on the area that I'm going to edit. We'll zoom in on her eyebrows and you see you have feature points of left, right, top, and bottom. You can click on them individually and move them exactly where you want so the modifications are as precise as possible. So now I've got them where I want. We're going to focus on lift. Again, you can go left or right or a combination. The face is symmetrical, so you can move them together or move them separately. Let's take right and just move the right one. And now it moves the right eyebrow up and there it moves it down. So if it's a little crooked in your way of thinking, you can change one and not the other. So that's what the lift does. Let's look at distance. That's the distance toward the center of the face. We can move them apart or we can move them closer together. The third slider we're going to deal with is thickness. Thickness goes obviously left, it's thinner eyebrows, and the right will make it a little uh, thicker for the eyebrows. Angle is rotation, downward toward the nose or upward toward the top of the face. And so you can rotate again individually or, or collectively. And we'll reset, it takes it back to where we started. The next thing I'm going to look at are the features about the eyes. And again, we'll magnify this so we can get to see the eyes very well. Now, the feature points I find for the pupil of the eye are often offset. So I'm going to move those right on the center of the pupil. And then we'll begin to work at the sliders for the eyes. We can enlarge the eyes, which is often done. We can change the height of the eyes, just the height feature. Or we can change the width separately. So you can enlarge the whole thing or just work on height and width independently and eyes independently. Lift is where they are in relationship to the rest of the face. And we can go up or down. The distance gives you the distance again from the center toward the side of the head, closer together. And angle rotates much like the eyebrows did down to the bottom or up to the top. Then you have the pupil. You can basically enlarge from the pupil outwards which is slightly different than enlarging the eyes. And so if you want to make their pupils proportionally larger, that's how you do that. So again, you can look at the locations. You can do left or right if one eye happens to be slightly troubled. The next one is eye bags. And if you take that and move it to the right, it actually brightens up the area below the eyes. And so if there are some bags around the eyes you want to take care of, that's how you do that. Let's look at nose. And again, nose will move our screen a little bit so you can see better. You've got left and right of the nostril, the tip of the nose, right below and up at the bridge. And so you have sliders for all the nose. You can enlarge it, make it bigger or smaller in relationship to the face. You can change its height on the face, move it up toward the top of the head or down toward the, the end of the jaw. You can change the bridge, make it narrow or or wide. And ala, that's what I would call the nostril area. You can make that a little wider or a little narrower. You can also take that tip and make it the more prominent, a kind of a fatter nose in the middle, or you can make it less so if you so wish. That's the way you can modify that. And uh, then we're going to look at the mouth. 
And there are lots of, of tools related to the mouth. Here again, I'm going to modify that feature point, move it slightly up. And so you can enlarge the entire mouth at once, moving the slider to the right or to the left. Uh, you can take care of the lift, which is the relationship of the mouth to the rest of the body. You can take care of the thickness. And in this case, let's do a separate top and bottom. The top lip we'll actually make smaller. And the bottom lip we're going to actually make bigger. So you can modify top and bottom independently. And an interesting one is smile. Smile is the one that allows you to curl the ends of the mouth up or down slightly. If you do it too far, it looks kind of garish. But uh, you can adjust accordingly to give what wasn't a smile a bit of a smile in the look of the face. And so that's a bit about some of these fine-tuned editing tools that you have available in PowerDirector 365 as of April 2023. We hope you find them useful as you do fine-tuned editing of the faces of your subjects in your photographs.